<laughs> uh, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. It is Monday, November 22nd, 2021. Uh, I am looking around. Uh, Donalyn Wales will not be here this evening. Uh, we do have one new member. I want to welcome Jessica to town council. Hi, everyone. Um, and so there will be eight of us this evening. Um, third item, election of temporary chairman of town council. Are there any nominations? Mr. Chair. Uh, Ms. LaPellis. I nominate Jonathan Forma Keller for um, temporary chairman of town council. Second. Second by Sean O'Rourke. Are there any other nominations for temporary chairman of the town council? Hearing none. Any other discussion? Hearing none. I'm going to call for a vote on this matter. On the nomination of Jonathan Formichella as temporary chairman of the town council. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Carry no nays. That passes eight to zero. Uh, thank you, everyone. Our next item on the agenda is election of chairman of the town council. Uh, Are there any nominations? Ms. LaPellis? I nominate Jonathan Forma Keller for chairman of the town council. Second. Second by Sean O'Rourke. Are there any other nominations? Hearing no other nominations, is there any other discussion? Hearing no discussion, we can call for a vote on this matter. All those in favor of electing Jonathan Formichella as chairman of the town council, please say aye. 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 Hands, please say nay. Hearing no nays, this passes eight zero. I want to thank everyone's, everyone for their confidence in me as we continue this new term and try to do what's best for the people of Monroe. Uh, item five. Election of Vice Chairman of the Town Council. I'd like to nominate Enid Lapellis as Vice Chairman of the Town Council. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Terry Rooney. Are there any other nominations? Mr. Chair. Mr. Maurer. I'd like to nominate Dee Dee Martin as Vice Chairman of the Town Council. Mr. Maurer has nominated uh, Ms. Martin to be Vice Chairman of the Town Council. Is there a second? Aye. Second by Jessica. How do you pronounce your last name? Oh, Katuska. Katuska? Yep. Thank you. Uh, second by Miss um, Katuska. Um, are there any other nominations? Discussion? Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Maurer. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, as we have in the past, we would like to uh, nominate to have a minority uh, representation per uh, chair, uh, co chair, uh, vice chair, sorry, vice chair, uh, in the spirit of bipartisan, bipartisanship and uh, forwarding the idea of unity and the uh, between the parties as well as a council as a whole. Uh, and I, uh, Ms. Martin has been on the council for quite some time, has lots of experience. Uh, she's more than qualified for the role, and I think it would be a good, uh, good faith uh, showing on the part of all council members to uh, show to the town the unity between the parties. Thank you, Mr. Mauer. Is there any other discussion? Hearing no other discussion, I'm going to call for a vote on the nomination of uh, Ms. Martin as vice chair. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. 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 Nomination fails. And let's call for the nomination, uh, the uh, vote on the nomination of Enid LaPellis as vice chair of the town council. Any other discussion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Uh, thank you to the council for the consideration on the other uh, nomination. I will say that uh, we have the utmost faith in Ms. Pellis as vice chair, and she certainly has our support. Thank you, Mr. Mauer. Any other discussion? Hearing no other discussion, I'm going to call for a vote on this matter. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say, say nay. 
Hearing you no know, nays, nice. this passes eight to zero. Congratulations, Madam Vice Chair. Thank you. Uh, consent calendar, I'm going to pass the consent calendar as presented, hearing no objections. I'm going to ask that communications A through P be incorporated into the minutes of our meeting. Public participation. Um, at this time, I am going to begin with those uh, who are in town council chambers. Is there any member of the public that would like to participate at this meeting? In chamber. One more time, anyone in town council chambers would like to participate at this time? Seeing none, hearing none, I'm going to turn uh, to our digital platform. Uh, is there anyone that is here either by telephone or uh, by computer or iPad that would like to participate during public participation? Please remember to unmute your microphone. One more time, is there anyone here digitally or via phone that would like to participate during public participation? Hearing none, seeing none, I'm going to close public participation for this evening. Appointments, uh, Mr. Rooney. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to make a motion that this council appoint Michelle Lohr of 12 Marsh Pond Lane to the Board of Ethics, filling a vacancy for a term ending January 1st, 2022. Second. Seconded by Vice Chair Lapels. Uh, discussion, uh, Mr. Rooney. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Michelle's lived in Monroe for nine years. Michelle works as Vice President, Senior Loan Officer at, at an SBA lender. Her 22 years of commercial lending to small business nationwide has given her skills and experience that will serve on her Board of Ethics well. Thank you very much, Mr. Rooney. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Chair, we did meet um, uh, with Michelle uh, tonight at LNA, and she reached a three to zero consensus to come to council tonight. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Is there any other discussion on the nomination of Michelle Orr to the Board of Ethics? Hearing none, I'm going to call for a vote on this matter. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Hearing no nays, this passes eight to zero. Mr. Chairman, I yes. have a great question. Mr. Rooney, did you, may I address Mr. Rooney? I would prefer you go through the chair. Through the chair to Mr. Rooney. Do, um, did you say who this appointment is replacing? Just There's a vacancy because previous there was Norman Rancourt and they're only allowed to serve two terms the Board of Ethics. Okay, so it's just open. It's a vacancy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, moving on to action items. Um, this evening, um, typically the chair has the discretion to assign committees. Uh, and this evening, I will be only assigning one committee. The other committees will be um, decided during our December meeting. Um, and this evening, I do have a couple nominations. I'm going to appoint um, Terry Rooney as town council liaison to the police department. Council member Rooney will also con continue his service on the EMS building committee as that was a resolution of the town council. So he will remember, remain a member of that committee. Um, this evening, there, um, there will not be any nominations to finance, education, health, and public safety matters. Uh, that will that committee will, will be assigned at our first meeting in December. Uh, there will be no nominations on the town council committee on planning, zoning, public works, and park reaction, parks and recreation matters. That will be uh, assigned at our December meeting. I am going to nominate uh, Mr. Mauer, Mr. Reed, and myself to town council committee on legislative and administrative matters which is critical to the functioning of town council for our December meeting, as it is a requirement for most of our uh, work on town council that it first go through LNA. So that is the reason why I'm, I am only nominating uh, one committee this evening. Strategic planning, uh, I will have nominate, uh, I will appoint members of the strategic planning committee at the December meeting. Uh, EMS Building Committee. Uh, is there any update, Mr. Rooney? 
EMS. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as far as EMS is concerned, you will find in your packet that uh, a financial report has been added to the consent calendar. Uh, we will be adding that approximately uh, once a month. And um, but as far as the project, everything is uh, going as planned. Really, no hiccups. There's a full building permit has been provided, and uh, everything's working out very well there. Um, no hang-ups. Things are very smooth. If anybody's been by the site, there's been a lot of things that have been done. A retaining wall has been built. Uh, the parking lot has been uh, widened. Uh, so rock removal, tree removal is done, and then they're, they're working inside the building. I believe the asbestos abatement is nearly 100%. If it's not 100% at this point, uh, Vision Electric has been there doing electrical. So the project's going very, very well. We're just praying right now because we've had rebar on the site for the last three, four weeks. So we're just hoping to get the concrete out of the ground before snow flies. So that's that's the that's the sticky part because once you get the concrete poured, then we can continue to build. So getting out of the ground is is sticky with this weather, but it looks like it's gonna work out. So other than that, that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Rooney. Uh, Open Space and Preservation and Acquisition Committee. Uh, Mr. O'Rourke. Uh, we have not met since our last meeting. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Rourke. Uh, first selectman's update. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I'll start out with a very a brief COVID update. Um, as, as much of the state has experienced, there's a slight increase in cases, uh, which we've seen here in Monroe as well. We're averaging about two and a half new cases uh, per day. Um, we are uh, conducting booster clinics. We've conducted uh, one targeted for residents uh, age 65 and older. We conducted a uh, initial vaccination clinic uh, children aged 5 to 11 uh, with some uh, with some help and support from uh, Superintendent Cobbs and Monroe Public Schools in terms of uh, re outreach and scheduling for that. We appreciate it. Uh, we are conducting an adult booster clinic for Monroe Public Schools this week, and we will be hosting uh, another adult booster clinic for all residents next week. Uh, that last clinic will be an open clinic scheduled through VAMS. Uh, more information will come out later this week. Uh, and as always, as I say, residents who are looking for other vaccine providers, we encourage them to look at the COVID-19 page, and there are links on there to find uh, multiple providers in Monroe and throughout our region that are offering uh, vaccination, whether it's initial or booster. Uh, an update on the Pepper Street uh, project, as I uh, uh, agreed to uh, give you uh, from the last meeting, so milling and paving uh, has been substantially completed for the majority of the project area uh, in advance of the winter season, uh, as we had uh, previously indicated would occur. There are some uh, small temporary patches of striping tape that's on the road currently to mark the lanes. That is uh, simply there in advance of line painting, which will be done uh, in the near future. Uh, there's one section between Jockey Hollow and Garter Road that is uh, still unpaved. That is because utilities are actively moving a water main uh, there and the primary contractor will be uh, installing a culvert in that area. Uh, so there will actually be some increased activity in that one small section over the next uh, several weeks. Uh, and uh, as that wraps up, there will be uh, pavement there once, uh, once that gets wrapped up. Uh, an update on the Wolf Park field project, uh, preliminary analysis from TPA uh, did uh, indicate that among all the access points that we had previously identified, uh, the two that uh, were, were uh, highlighted previously, uh, two and five, are the viable options that they recommend that we continue to review. Um, I have, uh, I'm still waiting for a more detailed cost estimate analysis from TPA for those two options. Uh, and once that's complete, I will refer it to the Parks and Rec Commission for their input and recommendations prior to further consideration uh, by uh, coming to town council. The Parks and Rec uh, don uh, Department has received a donation, uh, which uh, you actually was on your consent calendar this evening, but I, I just wanted to highlight that we have six uh, diaper changing stations that were donated uh, by the maker of Pampers uh, for use at our public restrooms at Wolf Park. And I just wanted to acknowledge and thank Missy Oros who took the initiative uh, when she found that that opportunity was there and applied for this uh, in-kind grant. Uh, so we have that addition to our park. 
The uh, Monroe Playground Foundation uh, has told me that their efforts are moving on very well, and they will be sharing some very exciting news in the very near future. Uh, I've been working with town departments and the town attorney to finalize a draft of a, mem a memorandum of agreement. Uh, as we said, that we'll have to come back to this council just to, um, you know, just to memorialize uh, how the donation will work uh, and all the complexities that will kind of go along with it. Uh, but I'm excited that we will be able to present that, uh, ho if not at the, uh, hopefully at the next meeting um, uh, of town council. And uh, last but certainly not least, the annual budget pro uh, process is about to start once again. I will be sending out my annual budget memo to department heads and other officials that have uh, budgetary responsibility this week. And that is my report for tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Kellogg. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Maurer. Uh, two quick things. First off, uh, Mr. Selectman, uh, I just wanted to let you know that a couple of the residents who had reached out to me about Pepper Street that I had brought up at the last meeting reached out again and uh, did let me know that the areas that they were talking about were paved and uh, were much easier to progress over. So they wanted to me to pass on their thanks. So I so now. Thank you. Excellent. Also, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to uh, ask quickly, is it your intent to continue uh, both a council person, the Pellis, and myself on the Board of Pensions as I'm not positive as to whether or not we'll have a meeting. I don't think we have a meeting before our next one. I believe that it will be in January. I think um, so. So I, I, will, I will have the nominations uh, in December meeting, at our December meeting. Thank you. Uh, on your direction, if an emergency meeting were called, yes. would, who would show up as liaison? We'll have a special meeting before then. Okay, thank you. Um, closing action items. There is no, there are no matters of unfinished business this evening. Uh, new business item A, acceptance of the following donations that individually exceed $500. Do I, have a, do I hear a motion to accept the following donations? So moved. Um, I, I $10,000 from the Monroe Rotary Club for the EMS facility project and $2,000 from Patrick Kroll for Children's Department Programs in memory of Connie and Jack Kroll. I believe uh, I heard the Chair Lapellis. Seconded. There's a second by Mr. Mauer. Uh, Mr. First Selectman, I think we have a few people here tonight. We do here tonight, and uh, if you will uh, indulge me, I'd like to invite the Rotary Club to come up and uh, Make a presentation, say a few words, uh, and uh, help us uh, introduce this. Uh, All right. Please, uh, please approach the podium. Thank you. We do have a, a, a couple of a couple of members of Rotary. We'd just like to say, you know, obviously it's taking you a, a fair amount of time to do the MS building, but we really appreciate what you've done, especially you, Terry, Ken. I mean, it's been years. So uh, what Rotary's done, we obviously do a fair amount in the town lately. But I, I wanted to present two EMS, and I think two representatives of here, Captain uh, Smith and Craig, who uh, I'd like to have them receive this for the EMS building. Obviously, uh, we've, we've got several. Uh, this is $10,000 that the Rotary Club has earned through its efforts through its golf tournament and other fundraising efforts, and you know how hard it is fundraising in this day and age. So we just uh, appreciate what you guys come around. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Except the chair. Don't, don't, don't backstop the chair. Hold the chair. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's not going to bounce. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for accepting it, and uh, hopefully the building continues and snow doesn't progress. So good luck with it, and awesome. good luck with the chair. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to the Rotary, um, not only for the funds, which definitely we could use, moving forward and it'll be a big asset to us as we move forward with the project and hopefully within a year have it completed. Um, but I also want to say thank you because not only are the funds important, but the public support means a lot to our members to show that the public appreciates what they do on a day-to-day -day basis to help make Monroe a safer community. So it's, it's more than just this, as much as I like this, <laughs> it's more than just this, it is that show of support that like I said, it means a lot to us. It keeps us motivated to continue to do what we do, keep our volunteers motivated. So 
thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put that in your yeah. <laughs> Pull that up. So take that to the bank. And yes. <laughs> Big bank I want to thank uh, members of the Monroe Rotary Club uh, for their very generous donation to the EMS facility project. I, I'm sure all members of council feel the same. Um, and we, we'd also like to thank uh, Patrick Kroll for his very generous donation uh, for the children's department programs. Um, so uh, any other discussion? Mrs. Crowell was a teacher at one of the elementary schools, just, just so you know where probably the donations partly coming from. That's wonderful. Any other discussion? I'll just echo your earlier comments. I want to uh, thank uh, the Rotary members uh, who, um, you know, there was a, a very large fundraiser that was organized uh, that raised this, this funds. And although I'm a member of Rotary, I can't say that I was really terribly involved in the uh, planning of that event because my, my schedule did not uh, per allow me to do that. So I want to thank the other members of Rotary who really put in that hard work to, to, uh, to really put together that fundraiser, which raised these funds, which um, are intended to help uh, support the training uh, room that will be uh, built at the new facility. And, um, and, and uh, I do also want to just uh, thank and acknowledge Mr. Crowell um, for giving that donation to the library in honor of his, uh, his family, um, uh, two individuals that were um, very uh, precious to the Monroe community and will be missed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'm going to call for a vote on the acceptance of the two donations. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Read. <laughs> Kevin, you're muted. Hi, Mr. Reed. Is Literally could not get off mute. This uh, this phone would not get <laughs> off mute. All right. Hi. Thank you, Mr. Reed. All those against, please say nay. Very no nays. This to zero. Uh, new business item B. Uh, resolution 21-173 to consider act upon a resolution regarding epidemiology uh, in laboratory capacity supplement ELC to enhancing action agreement. Madam Vice Chair. I move that the town council adopt resolution 21-173. Resolved that Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the town of Monroe the epidemiology and laboratory capacity supplement ELC2, enhancing detection cooperative agreement and any associated documents by and between the State of Connecticut Department of Public Health for COVID-19 funding. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Signed by Jason Maurer. Discussion, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, many, most of you will recognize this grant um, from uh, earlier on during the pandemic, the original, uh, which they called the ELC uh, cooperative agreement. Uh, that was the first uh, federal dollars that were provided to the health department uh, to help support the pandemic response. Uh, they have come out now with this uh, uh, extension and supplement of that grant, which they are calling the ELC2 grant, which uh, will now provide uh, over $71,000 um, and extends the grant through uh, July of 2023. Um, other than that, the you know the, the the terms of the grant and the the, the intended uh, use of the funds are are very uh, substantially the same as what they are previously, and we'll be able to utilize this in the health department to continue um, supporting our our emergency response and preparedness efforts. Thank you very much, Mr. First Selectman. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Chair? Mr. Mallow. Only that this was passed unanimously through LNA. Uh, we did discuss this as well as I'll just note for the record items. Uh, I believe it was D, uh, C and D on the consent calendar as we didn't do an LNA uh, update during the uh, earlier part, but they were all discussed and approved unanimously through LNA. Thank you, Mr. Mauer. Any other discussion? Hearing no other discussion, I'm going to take a vote on this matter on the passage of Resolution 21-173. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those again, please say nay. Hearing no nays, this passes to zero. 
Key business item C, resolution 21-174, to consider and act upon a resolution regarding food rescue program partner agreement. Madam Vice Chair. I move that the Town Council adopt resolution 21-174, resolved that Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the Town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the Food Rescue Program Partner Agreement and any associated documents by and between Connecticut Food Share for food donations. Second. Second by Mr. Maurer. Discussion. Mr. First Selectman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so I had mentioned at prior meetings that uh, Food Share was in the process of updating all their agreements. Uh, I thought we had received all of them. However, they recently sent over this uh, additional one, uh, which is uh, short and fairly self-explanatory in terms of being able to um, pick up food being donated at uh, local uh, establishments, i.e. grocery stores, and um, uh, it's fairly straightforward and we're obviously able to comply with it. And uh, you have the town attorney's uh, memo in this regard as well and uh, we'd like to obviously move forward so we can continue the program. Thank you Mr. First Selectman. Any other discussion? Yeah. Mr. Maurer? Only that this was uh, discussed by LNA and unanimously passed by Rachel Kemp. Thank you, Mr. Maurer, any other discussion? Hearing no other discussion, I'm going to call for a vote on this matter. All those in favor of passing resolution 21-174, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Hey, no nays. This passes 8 to 0. Resolution 21-175, consider and act upon a resolution regarding licensure of WMNR. Madam Vice Chair. I move that the Town Council adopt resolution 21-175. Resolved that Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the Town of Monroe, during the term of his office is hereby authorized to execute and submit on behalf of the Town Council and any all uh, filings and certification submissions to governmental or other regulatory agencies, including without limitation the Federal Communications Commission as necessary and required to maintain any and all licenses owned and operated in the town of Monroe for the purposes of and during business as and doing business as WMNR Fine Arts Radio. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. By Mr. Mauer. Discussion. Uh, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, as everyone's aware, uh, WMNR is licensed to the town uh, and under the ownership of the town council. Uh, there are routinely uh, many filings that uh, come up that are required for ongoing licensure uh, that are often uh, time sensitive. These are um, always prepared with the assistance of special counsel for WMNR, which we have retained for many years, Foster Garvey. Uh, we are currently in the process of completing the filing for the eight-year renewal uh, of the station, which is due December 1st. Um, in, in reviewing this and some of the prior uh, certifications that were required, uh, I've worked with um, our, our uh, town attorney to draft a resolution uh, to ensure that um, I have express authorization on behalf of the council to make such filings. Um, I'm asking that uh, the resolution before you tonight, which would apply to, to this filing, uh, would also apply to any future ones that may come up during my term. Um, as, as always has been the case, uh, they are fairly straightforward, often very technical. They are certifying uh, information and procedure and administrative matters. Uh, typically, there's no um, contractual obligations involved. Um, as always, uh, if there was anything that I felt, as we discussed in LNA, anything I felt was um, unusual or went beyond that scope uh, that I was not comfortable with, I could bring to council uh, in, in, any, in any event. And um, I would always continue to report uh, back to council any future filings that uh, came up that were done on behalf of WNR. Um, so with that, I ask that the council move this forward so we can uh, um, proceed with our, uh, not only our eight year, uh, renewal of licensure, but any other uh, similar uh, regulatory filings that come up uh, in the next couple of years. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Maurer. Only that this went through LNA. Uh, as the Selectman noted, there was one section of discussion just uh, as an assurance from the Selectman that if something extremely unusual came up that uh, he would use his discretion to bring it back to council on something like that, which he did provide that assurance, and as such, it was passed unanimously onto council. Thank you very much, Mr. Maurer. Any other discussion? Hearing right, no other discussion, I'm going to call for a vote on the passage of Resolution 21-175. 
All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Hearing no nays, this passes eight to zero. Uh, item E, resolution 21-176, to consider act upon a resolution regarding blanket resolution for employee matters. I hear a motion uh, to waive the reading of resolution 21-176. So uh, okay. And Vice Chair with the motion, Mr. Rooney with the second. Any discussion on the waiver of the reading of this resolution? Hearing none, call for vote on this. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Hearing no nays, um, we will waive ruling, uh, reading. Excuse me. Um, Next, uh, do I hear a, re uh, a motion to adopt Resolution 21-76? So moved. Second. Aye. Madam Vice Chair, second by Mr. Rooney. Discussion, Mr. First Electman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, as we have done in the prior two terms, uh, I'm asking the council, uh, uh, consistent with our charter, uh, one of uh, the duties of the first selectman is to act as the personnel director for the town and to deal with various employee matters. And uh, as we've done for the last couple of terms, uh, ensured that um, I have uh, authorization from the town council to enter into uh, any written agreements that might be among the town, the employee, and the collective bargaining unit for matters that um, are resolved in that fashion. Um, the exception uh, being those that are in litigation, uh, as is uh, noted in the resolution. Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Is there any other, other discussion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Mauer. Uh, only that this did pass unanimously LNA, uh, and also just a request of the clerk to be sure that since we did waive the reading of the uh, resolution that it be incorporated in its whole into the minutes of the meeting. I believe the clerk will take care of that for us. Absolutely. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Mauer. Uh, Ms. Martin. Um, yeah, I have a couple questions. Um, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Kellogg, if, if the council by charter has the power to approve contracts, mm -hmm. then how can we by resolution give you the power to approve the contracts? Isn't that going, isn't that by resolution going against the charter? Uh, I certainly am not the town attorney. However, the town attorney has uh, provided his letter of opinion in this regard, um, which I think pretty clearly uh, addresses the fact that this resolution would provide the, con the contractual execution authority uh, to my office. Um, it's the same resolution that this council, I believe, passed unanimously uh, both in 2019 and 2017. I understand that. Um, but I still I don't understand how the uh, if if we approve contracts now we're telling giving you the authority to approve the contracts which is taking authority away from the council. I, I have an additional question if I could please. Your your the council is actually providing its authority to the first selectman to deal with matters that are under the executive branch specifically personnel matters. Yes. Providing okay. Um, it says, or I believe in maybe in the opinion letter about if something was in litigation. Mm -hmm. um, what about a threat of litigation? Is, is that fall under that same category that we're not? The, re the resolution, as stated, is matters that are in litigation. In litigation, okay. Um, has we've been fairly successful in, to avoid that, so. <laughs> and that's that's a very good thing. Um, have we ever, in your opinion, have we ever had, have you ever had a delay in resolution because a, a situation had to be brought to the council, a, a delay in personnel? And Person understanding, I don't, I don't believe that the council should be involved in personnel issues per se. Do, do you see this as a delay in resolution? Well, we have not experienced any delays because, as I said, both in 2017 and 2019, council passed a resolution to address those manners in a very uh, efficient way. So I can't speak to what has not occurred. I mean, certainly there are matters that come up that 
can be time sensitive. And, and, and in your opinion, it would not be efficient to bring those matters to the council? Uh, not in all cases. Okay. All cases. So that may not be a time issue, but it's certainly a looking to uh, handle these these all these matters in the most effective uh, way and and I don't think I did not perceive the council wanted to be involved in every personnel matter that needed to be resolved and I don't I think that's I don't believe that. um, but I, I'm not sure that that this is a swift and imprudent way swift perhaps um, to uh, accomplish that thank you mr Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Any other discussion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Mao. Uh, Mr. First Selectman, it is the opinion from the letter of the town attorney that this does not violate charter, correct? Correct. Thank you. Mr. Mao, any other questions? Discussion? Hearing none, I'm going to call for a vote on the adoption of resolution 21 176. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Nay. And one nay. This passes. Public participation. Matters of unfinished business this evening that remain unfinished. There are no unfinished matters of new business. No second public participation this evening. I am adjourning the meeting at 8.38. Everyone, see you in December. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.